right. Another great thing about Tempo Tip is it assists with your transfer. When you transfer weight properly and you make sure you're using Newton's third law, and Newton's third law is for every action, there is, there's a reaction. So if I stand in front of Tempo Tip, you, we usually get tennis players that's very stuck in a position. So the ball comes and it feels like but there's no momentum, it's just the arm that's working. But in this position, you don't necessarily have to use feet where you step into the ball as by transferring weight, making sure that you rock back, you stay on the same spot. This is the action that takes place and the reaction is the, the ground reaction force, right? The GRF and from here on, the, the ground force gives you feedback so that you can transfer weight, go onto the front foot and then generate power. So this is basically the motion that will take place. What's nice about tempo tip, it's all about the feel. So it gives you that feel of what a youngster should do when they transfer weight and not necessarily have to move their feet. So let's show the example on the tempo tip. So you can start with your, with your weight on the front foot, they shift back their weight and then they lean into it and they hit the shot. want to make it more difficult you can turn around I will use this as, a, as the backhand so you can start on the front foot shift the weight and then lean into it and hit the shot shift back lean into it and hit the shot right so when we speak about the serve you usually see the tennis players that they just right here on the baseline and then from there on they've got a backward movement by throwing the ball up and then they transfer weight back onto the front foot and then they serve. So if you watch me from the side, it's a motion where you then will load, all right? It's like a, a little spring that you pull and then you want to get the release. So when you do the serve, you want to throw it up and load and from there on you've got a nice spring to transfer weight forward and that's the shot that takes place. So I'm going to show it again, up and then. Now let's watch it on tempo tip. You load on the front foot, when you throw the ball up, you load and it gives you that nice spring or feel take place. And you make sure that you create that feel, you generate power, get in all the weight behind the ball and make sure that you get a nice strong serve going. Right, so speaking about playing tennis at the net, it's all about quick feet, you make sure you can move in a direction and you cover the, the lines on the side, right, you've got a lot of space to cover on the left hand side and on the right hand side and if somebody hits the ball on your back end but your weight is going in that direction you're going to struggle to cover that part of the court. This is the nice thing about tempo tip is it, it gives you that quick feet, right, and it makes sure that your feet can move and you transfer weight in the, in the right direction to make sure that you can you create a big step to try and get to the line on that side. But there's a big difference by just falling over to try and cover some space or by having a generated force from this foot to go into that direction. I say again, it's Newton's third law. If you push in that direction, the ground will give you an, uh, 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 exactly the opposite and it will assist you to transfer weight into that position. So you're right in the middle, you want to go in that direction, you need to push off to make sure you cover the base. Let's do it on tempo tip. So this is the position, you push off and you cover. If you want to go to the forehand, you push off and cover space. 